Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know how I have been absent for at least eight months now, um, but I'm going to try get into regular posting at least one video a week. And today, you guys said you wanted to see a look using the new Astralis. Well, it's not really new; it's new to me. Kaleidoscope eyeshadow palette. I picked this up from Warwick yesterday. It finally came in, and here is the shade. Very colourful. I'm really liking the pinks and the purples and the blue and especially that yellow right there. And you also said you guys voted on my Instagram that you wanted to see a glam cut crease so I'm going to incorporate that into this video using this palette. So if you want to see what look I create using this, thank you for watching. So I'm first going to prime my eye with my MAC 24 hour extend eye base. This is my favourite eye primer it makes your eye makeup stay on as long as you are awake and I just put a little dab of that on each eye and I'm going to start off with my eyes today just in case we get some fallout with that eyeshadow and I can clean it up and it's starting to rain outside so I hope you can't hear that I'm now just going to put a little bit of concealer on top of my eyelids just to conceal any veins and just to put an even base and I'm just going to use it on an EXO Beauty angled eyeshadow brush and my dog is in the room she's finally up out of bed and I'm also going to sort of carve out my brow with this concealer but I'm going to go back later on after the eyeshadow and make my eyes more defined now that I've got that done I'm just going to go in with my face powder I'm just going to take my Astralis Fresh and Flawless in Darkest Brown and I'm just, just going to set that down so the, the eyeshadows blend nicely. There we go. Also, do you like my pink hair and these things on my teeth? Can't believe how much my teeth have changed in the month that I've had them on. It is amazing. So I'm now going to hop into the eyeshadow palette. Where am I there? And I'm going to hop into this pink shade here. They are quite shimmery, but we'll just see how it goes. And I'm just going to start off with an eyeshadow blender from EXO Beauty. For that pigment. I'm just going to stamp that on my eye. Just where I want the colour and I'm going to bring it right into the inner corner of my eye since we are going to cut the crease. Blend it up a wee bit higher just because I have hooded eyes so when I cut my crease it doesn't come up to there. I'm really bad at explaining things. Just have a little bit more colour on there. These are really pigmented. Astralis has been coming out with some awesome stuff lately. I always play with it at work. Take it home, try it, buy it. I'm just going to intensify that colour till I'm happy with it and just blend it out. Might go in with my Kylie Cosmetics blending brush just to blend. doing windshield wiper motions and circular motions just to buff that into my crease. So I put my headband on to get my hair out of my face. Actually it might be that egg smell dry skin on my eye that's catching. Now I'm just going to go in with that deeper ready pink shade and I'm just going to use the same brush and just put that on the outer V of my eye just to deepen it up and slightly blend that through the crease just not as high as that first shade I'm now going to take this Kylie Cosmetics smaller blending brush I'm going to hop into this purple purple shade here and I'm going to place that on the outer V again just to deepen it up. This one is quite shimmery and you can tell but I don't think you can tell on camera. It's 
bringing that into the inner corner as well just to blend it all together going in with the blending brush so it's all tied in together I might go in with this black shade just on a wee, wee small brush like this this is from e.l.f. I'm just going to place that on the other V as well. Again, just to deepen it up, and it's very pigmented, so just don't go too ham. Just stabbing it on so it slightly blends out. I'm going with my blending brush and just soften the lines. I'm just going to blend it in just my crease. To deepen it up a wee bit for when we cut it. Putting a bit of that purple just in the centre of my eye to blend the black and the pink together, but I'm probably going to go back over that when I after I cut the crease. So I'm just going to go in with a small teeny wincy brush from Elf. And just my NARS concealer again. And you can use any concealer you want to cut the crease. I'm just going to put a wee line here. And I'm going to look up and I didn't put enough on. And where that concealer hits, that's where I'm going to cut the crease. A small brush like this will help get a precise line. A precise, and I'm just going to blend that with my finger just into that purple. I'm really liking how this is looking out. It sucks that it's not picking up. Okay, I'm just using that brush with the leftover product on it just to blend those colours on the what colour do I want to use on the lid? I might just go in with the shade first. It's like a light pinky sort of shade. And I'm just going to pack that. And here, I don't even need to use Fix Plus for this. That's how good these shades are. shade that we used in the crease just to blend that together just in the middle and I'm just flipping the brush over just to blend them together and then I'm gonna go in with the purple just to blend those two together just dabbing it because I don't want to lose any pigment or colour I'm going in with this blending brush again and with the black just to deepen out that outer corner. And with a clean blend blending clean blending brush from EXO Beauty just to blend everything out. It's looking really patchy here but it's just from my eczema. Just going to clean up under my eyes and I'll be right back. Now that I've done that, I'm going to put some mascara and lashes on. I'm going to use my trusty Benefit Roller Lash. I'm going to put a little on just because we're putting lashes on. And I think I want to use one of these. This one here is The Sinner by EXO Beauty, so if you can't see that's probably better, or The Brave by EXO Beauty, the window's glaring. Might go in with The Sinner, so I will get some glue ready and we'll move on to the eyebrows. So I'm just going to find my brush. I'm just going to use an EXO Beauty Groomer brush just to comb through the brows 
Then I've been really liking my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in medium brown. Although it has dried up, I just spray a little bit of setting spray in it. Just to define these brows. Do too much just because my eyebrows are already so defined and full. I just like to define them a little bit more just to make them look nice and clean. Put this eyebrow on. It's not happening today. Going in with my NARS concealer again and just a flat definer brush. And I'm just going to go under the eyebrow just to clean and carve them up. some strobe cream on as my primer strobe cream is one of my most favorite makeup products if you have dry skin or just want a glow I would highly recommend it while I let that sink in I'm just going to cut my eyelashes and I'll be back this is Marley. She wanted to be on camera. Say hello. Ah, ah, ah. Hello. I'm Naughty Girl. Yes. Okay. Goodbye. So I've just put my lashes on. I really like these. They're really first with the eye look. So I'm now going to use foundation and now I can't get into it. Foundation, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Sorry if I keep looking at my camera. I don't need my sponge. Okay, now that I've wet my sponge, I'm going in with my foundation, spreading that around my face. I'm going in with the EXO Beauty sponge. Just gonna go in with that NARS concealer as well. Just on that same eyeshadow, angled eyeshadow. Blender brush just under my eyes. Just blending that with my sponge. I'm gonna put that in the center of my face as well just to blend it all together. So I'm going to now use my banana powder by Stralis as usual and just on a EXO Beauty small face brush and just set that concealer and brighten under there and just setting the rest of my face with the Astralis powder on a large fluffy brush let me know your favorite Astralis product they're coming out with some amazing stuff and I'm now going to move on to the under eyes so I want to use like these two shades so I'm going to start off just this Urban Decay brush in this like flitted side. Put another pigment on that. And just blend that blue. I might pack it just to get the pigment there. And use the other side to blend it. In with the Soeva soft definer brush and with that green and just blend that in there as well now that I've done that I use this purple eyeliner by Chi Chi waterproof gel eyeliner in beauty school dropout put that in my waterline and then go in with that blending brush again and just blend that. And I'm just going to use my Roller Lash Mascara. Stunning. I might go in with this eyeshadow palette with the shade here just to put on my brow bone and highlight. Brow bone in a corner, I mean. 
That's my highlight. Okay, I've got myself in focus now. I'm just using this shade here as my highlight as well. Just follow my cupid's bow on my nose. Beautiful. It's quite glittery though, so just blend it in. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Sun Club bronzer by Essence. Just a uh, Tessa Taker face brush. Sorry if you can hear the dogs. I didn't shut my door. Just going to warm my face up a bit. This is eyelash glue. For blush, I'm going to use the shade out of my Kylie Cosmetics, and it is the shade Virginity. And just on this Revlon blush brush. I'm using my Make Me Brow by Essence to set my eyebrows. use this shade here as my highlight. It's really glittery. Stunning! And lastly, for lips, I'm going to use Ubuntu by EXO Beauty. Turn it. nude for this look so I might go in with a wee bit of Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin as well. It is completely dried up. And there we go guys. There is the finished makeup look using the Australis Kaleidoscope palette really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did and if you want to see more videos from me I really miss making them so hopefully I'll be uploading very very soon really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one see ya